friends, it's Janice Baylor back in the art studio today with you for another fun drop-in art class. Um, well, I would like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts and their participating sponsors for continuing to bring us drop-in art online. Maybe you're having spring fever just like me. Uh, the flowers aren't quite up yet, but I'm really in the mood for something fun and festive and springy. So today we are going to make a lovely daffodil-inspired berry basket. So if you would like to learn how to make this adorable little flower arrangement with pipe cleaners and just some fun twisting methods, stay tuned. The supplies and directions are coming right up. For today's project, you will need a pair of kind of tough scissors, some glue, um, either Elmer, some um, craft glue or a hot glue gun would work great for this. You'll want some tissue paper and maybe some um, little uh, grass type stuff. You will need a berry basket or similar item. Any kind of small basket would work. You can repurpose something else you have. You may want a piece of uh, floral foam or you could just glue your little daffodils right into the center. And you will also need a selection of pipe cleaners in orange, yellow, and green. Okay, to get started, we are going to make our daffodil. So you'll need a orange pipe cleaner and you'll wanna cut that in half. Okay, so just cut right there in the center. And then you'll wanna take that and take one end and pinch it between your forefinger and your thumb and just twist it down into a spiral, leaving a little tail, okay? And then you wanna bend that tail backwards so it's at a little bit of an angle and that's where we will attach it to the next part. So set that part down. Then you'll want to take three of your yellow pipe cleaners and kind of line them up, get them aligned with each other at the one end and sort of find the middle, about the middle and twist them all together a few times. So maybe one, two, three, four, just like that. So they're nice and stuck together there in the center. Okay, and then we are going to take our little orange daffodil piece and put that right around the middle there, okay? So tuck it over that center. And now you wanna take one of your green, so you could use dark green, you could use light green, whatever you have. I'm gonna choose dark green here. And you want to wrap that over top of all of your other intersecting pieces there. And this will hold it all together. So leave a tail that's about two inches long there maybe and fold them over and then just twist that all together right through the center. All the way down, okay? Now we are going to roll up our daffodil leaves. So to do that, all we need to do is take it and pinch with your finger and start a flat spiral. So think about creating a little snail shell, really flat with your hand and rolling the petal down toward the center, nice and flat. Okay, so you get a spiral all the way down. And just do it again, pinch it and roll it in and just Using your forefinger and your thumb, spin it down the entire length to the center. Okay? Keep going. Once you've done all six of your sides, you can go ahead and just position them so they're about equally spaced. And there is the center of your daffodil. And then if you would like to make a leaf, I would just take the, um, the green chenille stick or pipe cleaner and just fold it up. So just making a little Z shape and then right there, at the base of the Z where you crimped it on the way down, we're just going to take and twist right there too, okay? 
Now you have a little leaf and you can straighten that back out. And there is your beautiful daffodil. And you can make a whole bunch of them and add them to your arrangement. So if you have the floral foam, you'll just poke it down into the floral foam. And if you don't, you'll want to glue the ends into the bottom of your basket. So to create the little detail on the basket, I just took a piece of tissue paper in green and you'll just cut off a strip that's about an inch or two inches wide and just make little diagonal cuts all the way around or you could just go like right through the top of it, cut, 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 and you can glue it in like that and it creates that little gla grass. So I just put a little glue around the edge of my basket and then stuck it to that. Then you'll take your daffodil arrangement and you can pop those in. And then we're just going to fill it up with our faux grass. Or if you have more tissue paper, you can just tuck in the tissue paper around it. This is kind of messy, this. So I would maybe rather do the tissue paper if we're concerned about mess or pets. Uh, maybe pulling at it, but this is kind of fun and I have this confetti. And then you'll just space your daffodils out so you can see everyone. They're beautiful and kind of have to help them balance a little bit because they're just like the regular flowers. They're a little top heavy, but that's pretty fun. And there you have your beautiful springtime daffodil basket. This is beautiful for Easter. You can set it on your table. Thanks for joining me today. Stay creative, friends.